Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. As we all know that the CAT 2017 will be conducted by IIM Lucknow. So in this video, I'll be presenting some insights about what to expect from CAT 2017 and I'll be even giving up some precautionary measures which you all should adopt so as to head your preparation in the correct direction. So let's begin. Previously, CAT 2010 was conducted by IIM Lucknow and the sectional difficulty was as stated. Quant was of moderate difficulty level, Verbal was moderate but tricky and DILR was a bit lengthy. Now the quantitative ability sections had questions based on various topics. There were around 3 to 4 questions on geometry, 7 to 8 on arithmetic and number theory and a few on algebra. Also there was a mix of higher math and modern math, even a small application of logarithms. Questions also tested fundamental understanding like ratios and percentages volumes of solids, permutations and combinations, etc. Now, the verbal section had questions from all the uh, spectrums, like it had questions from para-completion, para-jumbles, fill-in-the-blanks, correct uses of words, and moreover reading comprehension, which formed the major chunk of questions. So, a good knowledge of grammar and vocabulary would have helped students to achieve a good score in this section. And finally, the data interpretation and the logical reasoning section was a bit lengthy as it involved tedious calculations. The DI section mainly involved sets on different uh, bar charts and graphs and the logical reasoning questions were more or less logic based and there were pretty much more number of statements to be interpreted so as to solve the questions. So let's look at some of the measures that we can adopt so as to ace the CAT 2017. Now for the quant section, I've provided a topic-wise breakup based on CAT 2010. So arithmetic and geometry will cover more than 50% of the paper. Algebra and number system will cover around 30% of the paper. And the remaining 20% will have questions based on modern maths on chapters like PNC, probability, logarithms, trigonometry, etc. So what I would suggest is solve quant for at least one hour every day, say around 20 to 25 questions and keep rotating the topics every day. So on Monday if you solve percentages, then on Tuesday solve circles, then on Wednesday solve number systems and so on. And after an hour of practice every day, keep a note of your accuracy in that particular chapter. And then make a list of chapters which you tend to find tough and focus more on them. This will improve your effective score. So now let's look at the verbal section. Now as per the CAT 2010 pattern, RC is expected to be a bit tricky. So what I would recommend is solve at least one RC a day. And apart from that, you can learn 8 to 10 grammar rules per day and also learn 20 to 30 new words a day. The grammar rules and the vocabulary will help you all in comprehending the passages better. Now see, the verbal section is what people generally lose out on in terms of accuracy. Hence, always keep a note of your accuracy. For instance, if you solve one RC passage a day, make a note of how many questions were correct and also see what kind of questions you generally get wrong. Say if you are getting inference based questions wrong, then try and improve on them and this will ultimately build your accuracy. And if you are looking for a strategy about how to solve reading comprehension, then I have made a video particularly for that and the link of the same you can find in the description box. Now let's look at the data interpretation and the logical reasoning section. See, as per the past few years pattern, DILR is generally the game changer. Moreover, even in CAT 2010, people found DILR to be a bit lengthy. So these are a few pointers that you can keep in mind so as to ace up at this section. The first one is time each and every set that you solve. This is really important because it will help you to build your speed ultimately. Then you have to improve your calculation speed. I have even made a few videos based on speed math techniques. Or the link of the same you can find in the description box. Now you can all you also have to solve at least one data interpretation and one logical reasoning set per day so that you are in touch with this section on a regular basis. Then you need to focus a lot on accuracy. This is what people generally miss out on. So please focus a lot on accuracy. Don't just solve or mark an answer because you have a gut feeling that it's the right answer. You need to solve it properly and mark it only once you get the correct answer. Then apart from this, you also need to solve questions of different genres so that even if 
cat throws some different kind of question at you you are a bit prepared for the same so all in all if you all want to build the cat 2017 then improve at your weak chapters in quant improve your accuracy in vopil and improve your speed for the dilr section so that's it people i will come up with more interesting videos till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that i can improve at my upcoming videos thank you